dinosaurs could be returning in the near future. You've probably wondered what the world will look like in the future, but have you ever imagined a world where dinosaurs are making a comeback? What if we tell you that there's indeed a possibility that dinosaurs will be returning in the future with some interference from scientists? Welcome to Info Junkie TV, the place where you'll have so many of your questions answered, Infomaniacs. We hope you'll like this new video we've created especially for you. We know how it feels to need your curiosity satisfied about something, and that's exactly why we are here. So buckle up, for today's ride will take us right back to the future. It's insane that you can live to see dinosaurs around you, but isn't it even crazier that they might already be here? We can't wait till you find out how this is possible at the end of the video. The idea of dinosaurs returning is both fascinating and terrifying. For starters, where would they live? What would they eat? Even worse, who might they eat? But the first question we will answer in today's video is, how is this even possible? Friends fans, we bet Ross is tuning in with us right now. So when you think of the future, you think flying cars, skyscrapers, robots, artificial intelligence, but dinosaurs? They have always been part of the past, certainly not the future. The concept of dinosaur resurrection has first come to life with a dinosaur DNA-filled mosquito that has been preserved in amber for millions of years. Yes, scientists were inspired from Jurassic Park. Let's say that there was once a hungry mosquito that dined on a dinosaur millions of years ago, and then this mosquito got trapped in amber with the blood of the dinosaur reserved inside it. Now, what if scientists were able to recover the blood cell from the mosquito and transplant it into an egg after removing its DNA? Would it be possible to actually recreate a dinosaur? Could the recovered blood serve as a genetic blueprint for bringing back the extinct animals? Would that be scientifically possible or strictly resigned to fiction? Well, scientists are actually looking into it, and it has generated a lot of controversy. If you thought the mere possibility of this happening was thrilling, wait till you know about why scientists believe we're already living with dinosaurs. It's a crazy thought, right? We'll get to that at the end of the video. Scientists are looking into the feasibility of this revolutionary process, recovering the mosquito blood cell and replacing the DNA of an egg with it, possibly recreating a dinosaur. As fascinating as this may sound, a paleontologist from London's Natural History Museum, Susie Madiment, dismissed this theory. She says that a mosquito holding DNA of a dinosaur could never really help recreate an extinct dinosaur. Sorry, Ross, for bursting your bubble. According to what she said, when an amber preserves things, they are intact on the outside, and only their husk is preserved, not their soft tissues, so the insides are of no use. However, it's still a controversy. Other scientists disagreed with Madiment and have other experiments to show the opposite. Maybe cells don't always deteriorate and can actually survive for millions of years. Entomologist George Poinar from the University of California at Berkeley spent most of his career studying million-year-old insects preserved inside tree resin that had hardened into amber. In 1980, Poinar actually came across a fly that defied all expectations and had its cells intact for over 40 million years. That gives hope that the same scenario might happen with one of the mosquitoes we told you about earlier, possibly making dinosaurs come back. Who knows? Maybe we can clone a dinosaur and revive it. Maybe we can go back to the future. The search doesn't end there. Just wait till you know about this one experiment that will blow your mind. You might be wondering about dinosaur fossils. Why can't we recreate dinosaurs from there? Besides trying to extract dinosaur blood from a mosquito, Researchers have found blood vessels and collagen in dinosaur fossils, but unfortunately, actual dinosaur DNA can't be found in these fossils, because unlike collagen or other robust proteins, DNA is very fragile and can be easily affected by factors including sunlight and water. This accelerates their deterioration over time. The oldest DNA in the fossil record dates back to 1 million years ago, and the era of dinosaurs ended around 66 million years ago. Ever since, dinosaurs have been extinct, and while their bones can survive for millions of years, their DNA can't. So you can see how dinosaur DNA is inaccessible, as it has deteriorated tens of millions of years ago. So back to our question, is it possible to clone a dinosaur? Even though scientists are still looking into it, it seems that cloning a dinosaur using their DNA is not really possible. But that doesn't eliminate the idea of dinosaurs returning, because what can't be cloned can be recreated. 
An alternate way is to try and recreate the extinct animals through a reverse engineer technique that involves starting with a living animal with similar characteristics of a dinosaur, and then working backwards towards reversing at least 66 million years of evolution. So which animal did scientists choose for their studies? One that is quite similar to dinosaurs. Crocodiles? Lizards, maybe? Sharks? Sea turtles? Nope, no, and no. The answer is chickens. You will be shocked to know how close chickens are to dinosaurs. Apparently, the family tree goes right from the Tyrannosaurus rex to chickens. Birds descended from a group of dinosaurs known as theropods that included T. rex. These dinosaurs had so much in common with our modern birds. For instance, they laid eggs that looked very much like birds' eggs. We know that a falcon, a hawk, or a bald eagle would have made more sense, but the most relatively close bird to dinosaurs is the chicken. Don't judge just yet and take a closer look. Remove the feathers off the chicken, replace it with scales, now remove its beak and place a toothy mouth. Then stick a long tail on it. Do you see it now? The tiny, less scary T-Rex? Now with that being said and proven, scientists aim to genetically engineer the DNA of chickens in an attempt to reverse evolution and bring back dinosaurs. It's believed that if scientists succeed in doing so, they will get the first egg hatched by the year 2050. Yes, 30 years from now, we can be living with dinosaurs. Does it still sound as fascinating now that it seems possible and closer to reality? Fast forward to 40 years from now and imagine how living with dinosaurs would look like. Imagine having dinosaurs of all kinds and sizes roaming the streets of your city. And don't forget the flying ones too. That would mean Jurassic Park coming to life with real dinosaurs. Let's just hope that if this happens, modern technology won't allow things to go out of control this time. Maybe in the future, dinosaurs won't be restricted to parks, and dinosaur eggs will be available for sale on the black market, or even better, on eBay and Amazon. Could you imagine having dinosaurs as pets? Now that would be one hell of a security system. What would happen if we let Camptosaurus or an Allosaurus loose in the wild? Where would they be in the food chain, and what kind of disaster would that cause to the ecosystem? What would they feed on? Who would they feed on? So many questions. Who would have thought that chickens would bring to the mind such a scary idea that could threaten humans' existence altogether? What if all the experiments don't actually bring back dinosaurs? Would it all be a waste of money and resources? Well, it's actually not just about dinosaurs. These theories and studies, despite how far-fetched they may sound, are still quite useful even if they don't bring back dinosaurs. The science of de-extinction is one that will help in preventing endangered species from having the same fate as dinosaurs. Several projects are looking into collecting cells from endangered animals such as the rhino. With only three left in the world and its incapability to reproduce, scientists have taken skin cells from them in an attempt to one day recreate them. According to one scientist, it's not completely unimaginable that scientists could indeed breed a northern white rhino in a test tube sometime in the next three to ten years. So it's not just a dinosaur experiment that we're looking at. It's an attempt at saving other species from getting the same fate as dinosaurs. Maybe we can keep them from becoming extinct. Okay, let's take a break from the future and get back to the present. Consider this question. What if dinosaurs were alive today? How could you have missed such a discovery? Well, you haven't really missed it. The answer is that they are technically still alive, and you actually see them every day. As we have mentioned before, birds are descendants of dinosaurs and share common characteristics with them. Madaman said, dinosaurs are still with us. They say dinosaurs went extinct, but only the non-aviation dinosaurs went extinct. Birds are dinosaurs, and birds are still evolving. So we will certainly see new species of birds evolving, and those will be new species of dinosaur. Now, let's do a quick recap on what you have learned from today's video. You have learned today that dinosaurs coming back to life isn't a far-fetched idea after all. So the possibility of having a real-life Jurassic Park is actually closer than you might think. Scientists have tried to recover the blood of dinosaurs from mosquitoes that have been preserved for millions of years in amber. But chances of this happening are very slim because while ambers do preserve the husk, the interior would be a total mess which won't be of much help to scientists. Researchers have also found blood vessels and collagen in dinosaur fossils, but unfortunately DNA can't be recovered because they can't survive millions of years of deterioration. We then reached the conclusion that even though dinosaurs can't be cloned, 
scientists might be able to recreate them using a reverse engineering mechanism that depends on a living animal that shares the same characteristics of a dinosaur. A bird, actually. Not a hawk, not an eagle, and not a falcon, but a chicken. Turns out the family tree goes right from the most terrifying dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus rex, to chickens. Scientists are trying to genetically engineer the DNA of a chicken in an attempt to reverse evolution and have the first dinosaur egg hatched by the year 2050. But reality is far more terrifying from what we have imagined, and having dinosaurs roaming around cities isn't as fun as it sounds. After all, where would they live? Where will they be in the eco-chain system? What would they feed on? On a positive note, we're psyched to know that there is a science committed to preventing certain species from extinction. A number of projects in the science of de-extinction are being carried out to help endangered animals by collecting cells from these animals in the hope that they can one day recreate them. If you're like Ross with so much interest in dinosaurs and we're rooting for this to happen, don't be sad and remember that dinosaurs still live with us to this very moment. They just don't look as scary anymore and are covered in feathers. Thank you, Infomaniacs, for tuning in and watching our video. If you found it interesting, make sure to subscribe to our channel, InfoJunkie TV, and turn on the notification bell for more mind-blowing topics that are yet to come your way. Leave a comment and share with us what you think about dinosaurs making a return, and we'll see you real soon.